See, the Abdul Hakim Winter, first of all, is, he, to me, he's like, he's, he's, he's what the Iranians call Ayatollah. You know, he's like a sign of God. And, and they only give that title to somebody who's achieved a level of understanding. And, and that's what he's like to me. He's just, uh, and, and he's a very, he's just a rarefied person. You know, he's very uh, ethereal. He's a very rare type person. He's not the common person walking around. He's just very rarefied. Even though he's very down to earth and humble, he's got that uh, rarefied uh, blood flowing in his veins. And so what he does is going to be rarefied. There's going to be pe people, that's just not, it doesn't appeal to them because it's, it's high culture. It's not, it, it's, it's what they call an acquired taste, do you know? But I think it's amazing because the people, like I think the Anglican uh, representative tonight, he knew what that meant. That means Islam is in England. That means Islam is English. When you hear the Prophet is him being praised in high English, 19th century English uh, verse. Yeah, I think that's a, it was most of its common meter, they call that. When, I mean, when you, when you see that, and you hear people singing in tunes that are traditionally used for hymns and Celtic songs and things like that, Islam is here, and it's English. And that's why, to me, it's, that, that's an incredibly significant event.